Good morning, Burlingame community. I just wanted to send out my weekly video a day earlier than usual, uh, as I know a lot of folks are extremely distressed uh, and upset about the most recent uh, school shooting, the one in Texas that has been all over the news, of course, for the, for the past 24 hours. Uh, and, uh, of course, our thoughts are with and our hearts go out to uh, the most recent victims um, of another mass shooting in our country. Uh, which, um, sadly, uh, like uh, COVID, uh, folks try to normalize and, and make sort of normal um, because our culture has uh, embraced uh, a gun culture and a violence culture and, and not supporting mental health. Um, and we see the constant toll that that's taken um, already this year. Um, we're not even in June yet. Uh, 300 uh, shootings um, that are considered mass shootings uh, in our country and over 80 percent the vast majority of them occur at school sites uh, we can all be thankful we're in California uh, who has stricter rules uh, to regulate um, but until folks get tired of the frequency of this uh, and folks pass different laws I'm afraid that uh, it has become far too normalized so I've frequently reached out to as I was a lot last night another night that I don't sleep as, as I frequently don't on uh, those nights where my mind is occupied elsewhere, uh, asking me how I'm feeling or what we're doing or, or what we think about all this. Uh, so from an educator's perspective, um, I certainly can't speak for all of us that are teachers in the district, but this has become, sadly, in my 27 years, uh, this is what we prepare for now, um, and we can never adequately prepare. Uh, you, I'm sure, have seen the two of the folks killed. Uh, were teachers trying to protect uh, their students. Um, this has been what we've been preparing for for the last 25 to 30 years as nuclear raid drills and all of our disaster drills have actually largely been oriented toward uh, these types of drills about this type of violence that's more commonly occurring on our school campuses. Um, how do we feel about it? Uh, we hate it. We hate the education has to be more concerned uh, with man-made tragedy um, uh, and violent gun use uh, than uh, on natural disasters or or other things that maybe the rest of us grew up with. Uh, I know I'm, I'm older than the average parent in our district, but I'm sure there's not that much of a difference that we more remember drills about uh, getting under our desks for nuclear war, not that it would have helped that much, right, but or, uh, or earthquake or fire drills. Um, so we hate it. Um, and it's tiring, and we worry about it. Uh, and until our country does something differently about it and treats it differently, uh, sadly, we will continue to worry. And uh, so I'm preoccupied, as many of us are. Our minds are there uh, to my colleagues in the teaching profession uh, and for our principals and support folks, all of us that are, are teachers or near teachers, um, parts of our school community, uh, Keep, keep doing what we do, and um, I know it can be very concerning and distracting um, and upsetting, uh, and, and parents uh, and anybody that's interesting continue to advocate uh, for the change that maybe uh, this isn't what our kids have to worry about and our teachers have to worry about anymore. And with that said, uh, everybody have a safe uh, weekend and try to enjoy friends and family and, and stay safe. Take care.